Godzilla vs. Kong. Today we are celebrating the release of this movie with two versions of a Kong cake. One that took 10 minutes and another one that took 10 hours. Oh, he looks terrifying. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Koali Pops. My name is Millie Bobby Brown. We're starting with the 10 minute cake. So I got my timer going and I'm just gonna go straight into it. Just removing the piles of buttercream on top. And then I'm just going to add some more buttercream and flan it out, get it ready for King Kong's face. Now I didn't want his head to be a complete circle. I want it to be like a teardrop shape. So I made these cupcakes from scratch. You can totally tell that I made them from scratch. I glued them onto the side and this is gonna be the top of the cake. I added some more buttercream and then got my teardrop shape. Look at that. Looking good, right? After that, I set my cake aside and I started to roll out my fondant. So gray for his skin, black for his eyes. We got some white catch light, a little bit of cheek detail in pink. And then we got this nice big piece of black fondant that's going to be all of King Kong's fur. Yes, put it on. Hurry, you don't got time. You're, you're wasting time. Stop wasting time. So I'm gonna remove all of the excess fondant and at the top of the teardrop, I'm actually going to cut this in half so that I have these really two nice pieces of hair that are just sticking out at the top of King Kong's head. Then I used some stencils and started to create all of King Kong's face details. You got three minutes, three minutes to go. Put his ears lower, lower, right there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, keep going. So I've got these pill shapes for his eyes. I need them to look angry, so I'm gonna cut a little bit off. There we go. Some cheek detail, like the Godzilla cake that we made. And then I'm gonna be using two catch lights just so that he's extra cute. Two minutes to go, the only thing I really need to create with fondant is his nostrils. Have a little bit more time, so I'm gonna add some detail to his ears. After that, it's just all about arranging all these pieces on King Kong's face. I didn't add any magic sauce. I don't want to put anything down. I'm too scared that it's going to be crooked at the end and then I won't be able to adjust it. I was supposed to create his nose and his frown with a little bit of fondant, but I thought I was going to run out of time. So I did it with some fondant tools. Don't celebrate. Okay. Oh my gosh. He always does that. He celebrates too early. Okay, stop. All right. Okay. All right, you're cheating a little bit, but that's fine. It's fine. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job for 10 minutes? His pouty face is everything. For 10 minutes, this is bomb. Don't look at the sides because they look like trash, but let's get to the 10 hour cake. Now for the 10 hour cake, I'm using the same size cake that I used to create Godzilla. I turned it on in size though, because King Kong's face is a little bit longer. And I cut this cake into three layers and each layer is going to be a different shape so that I can really start to build King Kong's dimensions. I love that on the inside of this cake, it's like the most joyous thing you've ever seen. And then I add the black fondant. It's just sad and terrifying, but that's what King Kong is. After I added all three layers, I started to carve King Kong's face. Now I was really excited about creating Kong because I wanted to create a Kong cake when Peter Jackson's version of King Kong came out, but I didn't think I had the skill. I am definitely Team King Kong, and I know I said that I was Team Godzilla, but Peter Jackson's version of King Kong, Naomi Watts interacts with Kong in such an intimate way. It actually made me understand who Kong was. Whereas when I think of Godzilla, all I think of is just like this huge beast attacking the city over there. I don't know much about him. I know kind of a little bit, but I don't really care too much. I just want to see him destroy a city. With Kong, it was like, I can't believe you guys drugged my homie. You took him to the city and now he's lost, confused, and he's gonna die on top of the Empire State Building. And once I added my fondant, I started to work on his nose first. Then I moved on to his eyes. And then my favorite part, it's adding all the gums and the inside of the mouth to make Grandpa Kong. Look at Grandpa Kong. Oh, Grandpa Kong, tell me more of your stories from when you were in the war. Now I added his tongue and then I started to add all of Grandpa Kong's dentures so that he looks like he's in the prime of his life, just like Godzilla. I started to add shadow, but then I realized that there wasn't that much depth in the texture that I created for his fur. Um, so I added a thin piece of fondant to the rim of the cake, wet it with some magic sauce so that it got really sort of sticky. And then 
went in with my fondant tools to create more fur texture. It looks so much more distressed. Now it's funny because on the Godzilla cake and the King Kong cake, I messed up with the colors. Godzilla, I made him too green. Kong, I made him too black. I didn't realize how brown this monkey is. So after I finished adding shadow and creating King Kong's eyes, I color corrected with some brown luster dust and voila. My King Kong cake was complete. Man, oh my gosh. Look how scary this guy looks. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I created a Harambe cake a long time ago and you can totally see how much I've grown as an artist because this King Kong cake looks just miles above what I created before. Now I'm curious, which one of these cakes do you like better? Do you like the Kawaii version or do you like this realistic version of Kong? Now, after seeing both of my cakes and the movie, because it's probably already out, whose side are you on? Godzilla or Kong? I'm kind of hoping that the Power Rangers show up. I don't know how likely that is. Probably but not very likely at all. But who knows? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye.